What's going on, Game Dad fam? I'm Josh, the Game Dad, and this is more for Xanadu. Now, I've learned some things since the last time I played. So, for starters, my rank and the next EXP and whatnot. So, if I go to a church and I talk, I shall give you a title. Veteran. Make sure you live up to it. So now, when I check myself, I'm rank veteran. What that affects apparently is like when you die and come back, how much gold you start with uh, when you do like resets and things like that. So, it apparently has a point and isn't just, you know, just because. Oh, I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to do, but this is what I'm doing. So, you know, there's that. Oh, can I go this way? Apparently. But I may need to get up high. Oh, I don't. Okay. Wait, what? Is this... supposed to be where I wing boots? I don't know, and I don't want to waste it. If this isn't it. Uh, the, the longsword makes an incredible difference in how hard or easy things are. Let me just say... Also, I've learned some things, like I said, about this game, like, as a whole. So, for instance, uh, this game actually is not the first game in its series. Nope. Uh, this game is... So, this game is part of the Dragon Slayer game series... Which is a very old Namco, Namco Bandai, not even Namco Bandai, just Namco at the time, uh, property. And then... There is the Mark of the Joker by the Keyhole. Let's try Key J. No. Okay, let me try key Q. There, no. So it's neither of those. Alright, we just, just keep moving. Oh god, what is this? Um, so this game, however, is also a direct sequel. So, oh my god, my health is low. Which, this part shouldn't come as a shock given the name, but... It is the direct sequel of the game, Xanadu. So I didn't know all that. But here's what I found out that really, out of everything, this is what really, like, threw me for a loop. Uh... I, I know I have to use wing boots somewhere. Is it here? Is this where I wing boots? I've used wing boots. I can fly... Please tell me I can still fly. I'm holding red potion. Which is good, because I'm going to need it. Um, so, here's what, out of everything, here's what, like, most threw me for a loop, though. So... In addition to the fact that this game is a sequel, apparently, you remember those like the gargoyle look at the power of the wing boots is gone, but I don't have any ability to get up there. I don't have enough juice. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? At least there's no fall damage, but now I gotta go. Now I gotta get more wing boots. So. That's good. So now I at least know, like, what I'm doing. Alright. So. In addition to the fact that it's a sequel. Uh, this is the thing that really stuck out to me. That, like, that boss thingy I fought. That blue gargoyle, big mouth flight looking thing. That's a dwarf. That's what this game calls a dwarf. What? 
What world? In what world, that is dwarf? When? When and or how? You wanna dream it? Fine, let you go, please. Okay, then you to dream it. Don't try too hard. Uh, but seriously. What about that is dwarf-like? It's a freaking gargoyle! I was looking up, I was like, okay, let me let me learn a little bit about, like, the lore of this world and everything. Apparently, that first village I went to, it's, um... And it, I guess it makes more sense, like, if you play, you know, Xanadu. But that first village I was at is an elf village. And so that's why out the gate they were like, here's a ring to talk to the elves. Because I'm not an elves. And I needed a ring to talk to the elves. Ring for the elves. Because I'm not an elves. And I was just like, wait, what happened? Did no one... Did no one see an issue with calling this thing a dwarf? No one. Am I the first one? I have seen Lord of the Rings. And it doesn't matter whether you're talking about, like, Gimli... And some, like, grumpy, gruff-looking dwarf dude with a big beard cares only about a ale, or if we're talking The Hobbit, and Thorin Oakenshield, who's, like, weirdly attractive, despite being a dwarf, and also a guy. Like, doesn't matter which one, they don't look like that! I may be crazy. You may be right. But it just may be Fizanadu you're looking for. I may I'm considered the idea of just like starting to sing on string like be like, you may be right. I'm a crazy. But it just might be Fizanadu you're looking for. Or like I said, I've mentioned in a previous stream, like bringing back the the celebrity impression situation as various characters like this time when people talk instead of just having it be like uh like for instance when i go talk to this shopkeep Mc, Mc, mcdougal over here nope this is dried meat shopkeep mcdougal over here and you know do like a sean connery like hello i shell tools what would you like i'm like i came here to buy and what would you like wing boots that will be 2800 gold Welcome to the rock. Thank you for shopping. Uh, I do, I have retained that if I could meet any, like, celebrity for any reason, the one I would most want to meet, and it it's not even up for debate, I would want to meet Sean Connery, but not, like, to meet him. I want to meet Sean Connery specifically because I just want to ask him to say, Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. That's it. That is the entire reason. Quite plainly. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Okay, that's what I'm expecting. And that'll make me very happy to hear that. Okay. So now... Come here. What? I'm here, and I'm gonna keep on climbing higher and higher. Who is this guy? Ho ho ho! I'll tell you about the water of the spring. Oops! Falling asleep. The water was poisoned. The po potion, the po the potion is almost gone, so it's all right to wake him up. Watch. Something is wrong. Oops. Get the key from the Guri in the Tower of Fortress and search for the undiscovered first fountain. What? What does any of that mean? But how do I go into the, the Tower of Guri? I don't have the key in what I don't know, guys. Okay. Maybe it is key Q and I'm just looking at this wrong. 
I just, like, did it wrong. Maybe that's it. Was that it? Do I have enough golds? That's really the key here. No pun intended. Mark of the Joker by the keyhole. That is clearly not the key. This would be the Queen, not the Joker. Because it's a Q. Was there a door on that, like, the one I found up higher? Like, that little, like, shrine thingy I found? And I just wasn't paying proper attention? Or... Or what? Or maybe... Okay, so I could walk through over there. Nope, never mind. I don't know how I feel about the platforming element of this game. I have to assume there's a reason they're letting me walk up here. Maybe I have to, like, jump down onto that thing. So, let's try it. Oh! Stupid. Mark of Jack by the keyhole. It's literally right there. I've used key. Oh god! Immediately! Aha! You shall not win this day. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Don't have negative thoughts. Remember your mantra. And guys, don't forget, our mantra is... Okay, see? Yeah, I came back with, with uh, 2,800 gold this time. So I can go back and immediately buy the key again. So, it's like, okay. Not the biggest deal. Hello. I sell keys. What would you like? I came here to buy. What would you like? I would like a key. Thank you. I don't know why I am half talk like that, but... I am. We could consider it a celebrity impersonation, but... Who am I impersonating? Ivan Drago from Rocky IV? I must break you. Can I... Listen, I know the angry video game nerd has addressed this before, but with a new Rambo movie coming back, coming out, can I address... The very serious problem I have with the way they name... Oh, that was literally the worst case scenario. Can I address the pro the very noticeable and real problem I have with the way they've named Rambo movies? The first Rambo movie was First Blood. Oh, God. What is this? I don't need to... I'm not restarting Windows. Snooze that. Anyways... Uh, and if you see a little cursor on the screen, I apologize. But, uh, the first Rambo movie was named First Blood. Then, Rambo. First Blood. Oh, that is... Well, I'm gonna stop and heal on the way now. Because apparently I freaking gotta. Anyways. Uh, then, Rambo... First Blood Part 2. Okay, sure. But then, Rambo 3. The first movie wasn't even named Rambo, so how are you going to call it Rambo 3? Alright, fine. But then they came out with a fourth one, a couple of years ago, and called it Rambo. I'm watching Rambo. Which one? The original? The new one? Or First Blood Part 2? And then the newest one, by the way, they're because a new one is coming out. It's not out, uh, it's not out yet, but it's coming out, and it is to be titled Rambo Last Blood. Whatever. I Alright, Sly. I guess you can just do whatever you want now. Forget us. Forget the little people. Okay. I'm guessing I'm gonna fight one, another one of those gra graggle, graggle monsters, as I like to call them, because they look like... Arr, arr, arr. And if slash when I do, I'm gonna point out that it's a freaking dwarf. 
and just try and figure out who thought it was okay to call that a dwarf. Oh, come on! Really? I have a red potion, but I wanted to save it. Okay, thankfully, at least there's a couple of these here. Okay. Da -da -da. Let me do this. If I do it properly, I'll overall be healing. I need to heal up a little bit, and then, okay. That should be good enough for me to make it through without too much issue. So, uh, I know I often dress a, a dress controvert. What it, this thing is, I don't know. It could be a dwarf, for all I know. This game has a very, very loose definition of what a dwarf is. So I'm not honestly sure what it is. I just know that whatever this game thinks a dwarf is, is not what a dwarf is. That, that is the, the only thing I actually know in relation to this game. Is that this game thinks dwarves are things that, like, it thinks basically anything is a dwarf except... A dwarf. Cool. Go ahead and throw yourself into the abyss there, buddy. I'm fine with that. Oh, what is this do? Oh, this must be the other spring. Oh, cool. I came the right way. Oh, that's an item over there. Oh, there's bees. Oh, God, the bees. Okay. You've done well to get here. This is the spring of Trunk. You need elixir to revive the spring. Will you give me your medicine? Come back with the medicine. So I need elixir, and I'm going to assume that's that bottle I saw over there. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, what is that? I am free from injury because of the ointment. The ointment did not really do a lot of healing. I don't know. I may be... I may be acting a little judgmental here, but... I feel like that ointment was not necessarily helpful. See, one other thing I could have done is like... Grind it up and got uh, that magic shield and that death spell I found before, but and I thought about doing that and just being like, okay, you know, we're gonna we're gonna take the easy way out with this game because I am not the most knowledgeable. Oh, so I can't get hurt when I get the ointment. Oh, okay, Mo, oh, come on. But I decided, you know, I want to play this game like, you know, like it's supposed to be played. Let me use the red potion here, because I'm getting pretty, pretty dangerously low. Okay. Oh, cool, another red potion. Oh, I've touched poison. Okay. That's, that's fair. To have poison look exactly like... Oh, God! What is that? I don't know, but it's pretty easy to beat. Because I can just do this. I'm going to assume this is a boss. Probably like a, like a tall dwarf. <laughs> if I had to guess. What the? What the? What the? What the? What is this? I'm holding... Okay, yeah, that is the elixir. What is this guy? I've used elixir. Wait. I'm holding wing boots. But I needed the elixir. Oh, I get it. I've got to get that. And then make it back with... I needed the wing boots to make it out. So I did need to kill him.
Wing boots. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is actually a... That is difficult in the reverse. Touch poison. No! No! Oh, God. Oh, God in heaven. Oh, God in heaven, please. Okay. I've got to see if I can, like, luck out into him jumping into one of these holes. Because if I take literally a single hit... Okay. 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 No! No! Oh, God! Oh, God, no! 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 I've got to go through that again. Oh, my God. So, obviously, they meant for you to come to this spot to where you could get the elixir and the wing boots and maybe have, like, a red potion left over. I don't know. All I know is I am so sad face right now that I have to do this all again. Granted, it's not super difficult. That snake thing is easy to kill. It's just a little frustrating. See, stuff like this... I, I like the game overall. I'm having a good time. But stuff like that is a bit... It's player hostile. Like, the way this is designed... The wing boots allow you to get through this part without having to really worry, for instance. So it's not a bit... But it's like that, that rock throwy thingy guy. I'm gonna have to kill him. But it's probably going to cost my elixir to do so. You know what I mean? It's a, it's not a good system. I'm holding elixir. Okay. I'm not holding wing boots, apparently. Which is concerning. But I have that. Use the elixir. So, am I able to just jump over? Let me try and move in and... Oh, God. He is brutalizing me. What is the secret that I'm just not getting? Okay, that's not it. I just pushed him out. <laughs> Whoop! Okay. So I very clearly need him to get me down into like that really bad range. Okay. And then I need to walk back and get the elixir. Okay, I won't have wing boots, though. So, I'm basically... I have to... Oh! Okay. We're fine. Are we fine? I'm gonna say we're fine. Okay, so far we're actually kind of fine. We should be good. Hopefully. Maybe? Theoretically. Okay. Okay. We're good. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -doo -doo. Chicken! Okay, all right, all right. We basically we're pretty much free now. Like, I don't suspect uh, famous last words, but I don't suspect getting uh, bombed by the bad guys before I can do this. So we're done with the elixir. So with this old man, who should I? I could do a crystal, do a Christopher Walken, do something. Magic. You know. It's crazy how. In that way. The elixir. Revive. The spring. Magic. 
Need elixir to revive the spring. Will you give me your medicine? Will you? Or I could do it. You need elixir to revive the spring. Will you give me your medicine? This spring will flow. Again, there are two more. You'd better go and find them. Okay. Uh, as soon as water flows in the fountain, go to Mascon and find the poison the dwarves hide. Otherwise, the elves will be destroyed. What? There's so much to this game. And a lot of it is dwarves. And I don't agree with how dwarfy they consider them to be. Like, have you seen a D&D &D book? Have you watched Lord of the Rings? They even had the animated Lord of the Rings when this came out. I know they did. Hell, I'll take Willow. Like, I'm not even picky. Just anything. Game of Thrones? Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Time to show uh, showdown with a dwarf. The power of the ointment is gone. Gotta be kidding me. Don't have negative thoughts. Remember your mantra. That'll never get old ever, guys. Well, I have to go kill that dwarf. But I'm gonna do it. That dwarf. Dwarf. But I'm gonna do that on the next episode. Because this one's running a little long. And I want to make sure I know where I'm going. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Shout out down below. What celebrity impressions would you like to see? I can do a good number of them. So let me hear what you'd like to see and I'll do it for you. <laughs> Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Otherwise, I'm going to catch you later, Game Dad fam. All right.